City man woke up to find an intruder inside his home, and he shot him. 23-year-old Christopher Ricketts is now in critical but stable condition. No charges have been filed in this case. Police say the shooting was justified. KXAN's Jacqueline Inglace has more. I walked through there, and and he just says hi, and I say hi. Jessica hi. Martinez moved to Johnson City from nice San Antonio here. to yeah, live in a safer place. Nice. Early Monday morning, gunshots became her alarm clock. I heard like a firecracker, you know, some, one pop. 23-year-old Christopher Ricketts had been shot. Police told KXAN Ricketts came to this house on the corner of Avenue G and Ash Drive around 1.30 in the morning and got in through an unlocked door. Ricketts didn't drive up to this house, nor did he walk. Police say he actually rode up here on a bike. When the homeowner woke and found Ricketts, he grabbed a 9mm he's licensed to carry and shot Ricketts in the chest. All I saw was when they went around the corner is they were trying to, I guess, revive the guy. Ricketts was flown to the hospital and is now in stable but critical condition at UMC Brackenridge. A motive in the case is not clear, but police did find a backpack that had a screwdriver and sock inside. Which is indicative of a burglary tool. Officers are calling the shooting justified. Criminals everywhere should take this into consideration. If they break into someone's house, they can be shot and killed. And is it worth it? Henry Martinez agrees that his neighbor should have defended his home. He just wishes he hadn't used a gun. My son sleeps right there next to a window, and had he been shooting in this direction, I was afraid for a stray bullet. Police are waiting to question Ricketts. They say he has no criminal record or history of mental illness. Meanwhile, no charges have been filed in the case, and Holland tells KXAN it's unlikely the homeowner will face charges. In Johnson City, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN News.